Each year, more than 21 million travelers visit the seven Emirates, comprising the UAE. Dubai, the most populous and developed of the seven, single-handedly accounts for more than 16 million of those visitors. In 2020, however, those numbers have dropped drastically, after the UAE suspended most commercial passenger flights, back in March in order to stem the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, the Emirates are welcoming travelers back. Here's where you can go in the UAE, and what you need to know before you do. Entering the UAE the UAE reopened its borders to international visitors in early July, after a three-month hiatus. All visitors 12 and older, must present a negative COVID-19 PCR test taken within 96 hours of departure time, and all test results must be presented, either in English or Arabic in original physical form. Digital copies will not be accepted. Travelers with severe and moderate disabilities may be exempted from the test requirement. You won't find a curfew in place in Dubai, unlike many other countries that currently allow US travelers to visit. However, you'll undergo multiple health screenings to pass through immigration, according to the US Embassy. Quarantine Requirements Is quarantine mandatory for incoming travelers? Here's what we know. The National Emergency Crisis and Disasters Management Authority of the UAE, NSEMA, as well as the official website of the UAE, has stated that anyone entering the UAE from another country, undergo a self-quarantine of 14 days. Violating home quarantine is punishable by law. However, visitors entering Dubai are not required to quarantine, if they can show that they're in recent clean health according to local media source Gulf News. Travelers entering Abu Dhabi and other Northern Emirates, must quarantine for 14 days, regardless of their test results. Arriving in Dubai, travelers should also expect to pack a negative PCR test taken within 96 hours of departure time undergo health screening procedures at airports and other ports of entry download the COVID-19 DXB app onto their phones for monitoring complete the acknowledgement form and submit to officials upon arrival in Dubai. Upon arrival, another PCR test can still be administered at the discretion of local officials, even if all of the criteria above are met. Tested travelers must quarantine until they receive results, and passengers who test positive must undergo a mandatory quarantine for a minimum of 14 days, at a hotel or self-isolated private address, with successful follow-up test results, before quarantine is complete. All expenses associated with quarantine are the responsibility of the traveler. After you complete your quarantine, you must continue to comply with all preventative measures from the UAE health authorities. Masks and gloves are required in public spaces, and everyone must practice appropriate social distancing in public areas. People who violate preventative measures can be fined up to $27,000 for the most severe in- Can you travel to Abu Dhabi? US travelers do not need tourist visas to enter the UAE. But Dubai is the only port of entry offering tourist visas right now, so if you're traveling with non-US nationals, be sure you don't enter the country through Abu Dhabi or other destinations. Furthermore, the UAE government website states that, travelers entering Abu Dhabi and other Northern Emirates must quarantine for 14 days, regardless of their test results. Visitors who enter the UAE via Dubai, can travel to Abu Dhabi by road, if they present proof that they are covered free, dated within the past 48 hours of travel time. Non-Abu Dhabi residents who stay for six or more consecutive days must take an additional COVID-19 PCR test on the sixth day. Hope this video was useful to you. Please like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Goodbye.